Mondays always seemed to sneak up on James. The early mornings made it difficult to get out of bed and get ready for his 8 a.m. class. Coffee would help him wake up, so he made his way down to the kitchen. He quickly realized he was all out of coffee. James looked in the newspaper for a coffee shop he could go to on his way to class. Seeing they were all closed, he decided to make his own. James didn't let his lack of equipment stop him. He didn't have a coffee grinder, so he decided to get creative. It was horrible. But luckily, James had a friend he could call for help. Hey, Gretchen. Yeah, I've been trying to make coffee, and it's just, it's really bad. And you know, I figured you're a scientist. Can you help me figure out how to make it better? I sure can. Hang on while I run a quick experiment. Here's what you need to do. First, go outside. I sent you some equipment so you don't have to grind the beans with a hammer anymore. I've added some green beans. There's Java Frinta and a Yemen Mocha Matari. You'll have to set up the roaster. And then, add the beans. I'll have you roast the beans until they get to around 220 degrees Celsius. This will get them just before the second crack, so a darker City Plus roast. Make sure you adjust the power and the fan speed to make sure the slope is constant on the line of temperature versus time. Make sure to shake the chaff off of the outside of the beans. You'll find out that the beans weigh a lot less because they lose water during roasting. All right, you need to use the right grind size to make sure the coffee is neither under or over extracted. By my calculations, it'll be a 22 on the Barazza grinder. Go ahead and grind 20 grams of coffee and heat up 200 grams of water to 95 degrees Celsius. Once that's ready, put them together and brew for five minutes and 45 seconds in your French press. Make sure that you stir it to get all of those coffee grounds in contact with the water. And when it's done, just pour it into your favorite mug then I'll have you add 60 grams of room temperature water. This helps us to be more energy efficient during our brew. You get the good extraction with the high temperature water while brewing, but you'll use less energy overall because you're not heating up all of the water. Now, give it a try. Yeah, I'm tasting some earthy cocoa notes. It's, it's very rustic. It's not very sour or overpowering. Why is that? That's because it has a TDS of 1.34% and an 18.9% extraction. You can check it out for yourself with the refractometer I sent you. James found that this was true. Gretchen, you were right! That coffee, it tastes so good, it's energy efficient, but, you know, if this pandemic ever ends, I might want to make this coffee for, I don't know, 20 other people? How would I scale this up to one liter? Just multiply the masses by 7.092 and you'll have a liter of brew. Now I really want some coffee. I'm gonna get going and make some. I'll talk to you later.